Hello everyone. So I just hit Mythic momentarily. So I wanted to do a quick video on not really about the Phoenix deck, but rather the state of historic best out of one metagame. Because, you know, everybody probably already knows what a Phoenix deck is by now. This card has been wrecking havoc, not to the point of imbalance. Like, it hasn't won any major tournaments or anything, but it's still one of the top contenders for sure. But the reason why I picked Phoenix to climb towards the end, even though I was doing pretty well with the life gain deck, is because I don't know why all the control decks just decided to all show up. They're all playing this particular card called Mind Perch. So, so this is an alchemy card that exiles all artifacts and creatures with mana value 3 or less. It's very powerful, but especially against Life Game Deck because Life Game Decks only play mana value 1 to 3. So this is a very powerful card against them. So even Jeskai players are playing this over Anger of the Gods, which I found a little bit weird. When I was playing life gain, my rank kind of plateaued at Diamond 1. So I needed to change to another deck. And the best deck that plays around Divine Purge, well, happens to be Arc Light Phoenix, because Arc Light Phoenix is 4 mana. So although we do play Sprite Dragon, Dragon Rage Chandler, and Delver of Secrets, the whole point is to get Arc Light Phoenixes out. So if, if you see a lot of decks that play Divine Purge, this is a pretty good deck to, to go around that. And this is also a pretty good uh, free-to-play upgrade from the Delver list that I created last time, because the only cards that you have to craft are two more copies of Fate Looting and four copies of Arc Light Phoenix. And then once you have that, you can make your mana base a little bit better by adding things like Spire Bluff, Cannel, and a copy of Fable Passage. Fable Passage is honestly a luxury. You don't need it in this deck, but sometimes it can help you get to get a land into your graveyard for a Dragon Ray Channeler to activate its Delirium. It is a luxury, like it's not totally needed. And also, the deck is very adaptable. And what I mean by that is, depending on the decks that you're facing, you can you can change the cards around pretty easily. So if you're playing against a lot of graveyard hates, you could add Sprite Dragons and Crackling Drake, which I did. Or if you find that you are playing against a lot of graveyard decks yourself, what I like to do is actually add Leyline of the Void to your main deck, as so. And then you can take out two copies of Crackling Drake and two copies of Bright Dragon, something like that. Because not only is this a zero mana enchantment if you start with it in your hand, but it is dead in your hand if you do draw it, but you have cards like Faithless Suiting to ditch it into your graveyard. And if you do, you actually activate Delirium much easier than normally. So sometimes it could be an upside as well. If you think this is too much, then you could add something like Soul Guide Lantern instead. Because I don't think this card is that bad. Because since it can activate Delirium, you can also crack it to draw a card. So it's not completely dead in your hand compared to Leyline of the Void. But I do prefer Leyline of the Void in Phoenix deck because this is this is a free card. So it does come down to preference. But anyways, this um that's all I have to say about the deck and the historic one meta very weird that people are playing divine purge over anger of the gods i guess you don't really have a choice if you're only playing azorius control but seeing jeskai control with it was kind of weird because they still do have access to anger of the gods which i think i would play over divine purge any day of the week unless you see a lot of cat oven decks but in best out of one, you don't really see that many sacrifice decks because sacrifice decks are too slow for best out of one format, in my opinion, just because of a lot of combo decks. But anyways, I'll leave you guys with last five games that I had to win in best out of one to Mythic. Hope you're all doing all right and enjoy the rest of the show. Bye bye. <clears throat> okay. Um, I'm gonna hold off these spells for expressive iteration. I mean, um, these spells for uh, sprite dragons. Is that mirror match? No, they're playing a graveyard deck.
So I can play Chandler to my hand. No, Faithless Looting to my hand, and then only bottom like that. I need to find some phoenixes so I can win early. Turn 4 is where they win the game, right? Can I win by turn 3? I turn 4. I don't know if I could. Because I have to win next turn, right? Thing is, I don't know if I could. The Dragon Storm deck, I wonder. The RC is flying, that's good. Crackling Drake and... No, I've already played a land this turn. So that's eight. So that's I I played that that's nine plus the two phoenixes. That's not enough. I'm just gonna leave the unholy heat for Dragonstorm. Okay. Oh, it's off now. No. That sucks. Okay. Well, <laughs> I should have. Yeah, so that was just bad on my part. I needed to put the Crackling Drake to the bottom. Loris? What kind of Loris is this? I'm going to keep this. Like, if this is an aura deck, then this is good. My hand is perfect. I mean, to be fair, these are sorcery speed spells, so... Kind of sketch. that. Uh, that's pretty bad though. Because now I don't have red open. It worked out. Uh, I can't get rid of these. So faithful suiting. I think it has to be double faithless suiting. Then we'll pass. Hmm. 
Should I fading hope this? I'm gonna fading hope this. I'm gonna play Sprite Dragon and attack. The problem right now is I need more instant speed spells. That's pretty annoying, honestly. Hmm. I also need some lands. So, Phoenix and Delver. My Pillar of Flame is doing anything right now. Unfortunately, Loris is going to get buffed. Nothing I can do. Really not much I can do here. I need to look for some stuff. Opt. Faithless looting. I can't kill that. One unholy heat. It's going to be tough. Not gonna lie. So they go to... They go to 8. They go to 11. Lock. 6. But they have to block the Sprite Dragon, which is nice. Man. Nowhere to be seen. I should have attacked first. I'm, I'm bad. Yeah, I should have attacked first so that Crackling Drake draws a card. So that's five. That's six. And they lost. That was kind of close. I can't believe I didn't draw a single... Aside from the single one that I've seen. Additional Unholy Heat. Blue. Oh, I kind of want to play Delver, but... Probably better to play this. Uh 
opt for playing the same deck. Yeah, we're playing the same deck. Hmm. Lightning Axe. I'm gonna play the Delver. That's good. At least one of them is survi surviving this turn then. Consider. Good. And we want to see Delver flip here. Nope. Express iteration. We'll put another Sprite Dragon into my hand. Steam vents to the bottom and we'll consider. Another Delver. Considering I can play it this turn, I'm actually going to play it out. Raisin Borrower. Storming Entity. Come on, flip. Flip. What's happening? Press iteration. Faithless looting. Could be useful here. Put the spike field into my hand. Put this back and then we'll shock ourselves. Eighth was looting. Wow. We drew a lot of cards, still can't flip our Delver. None of the other cars are... No Phoenixes yet so far, either. We binned a lot of lands. Binned a Sprite Dragon. It looks like our opponent is also very bad at the game considering they can't bin phoenixes like us come on flip <laughs> oh dear god Are they just dead? Six, ten. They're one off lethal? I'm gonna respect their Phoenix. Like, if if they happen to reanimate a bunch of phoenixes next turn, I might be dead, so...
Maybe I should have attacked with a Sprite Dragon, the 6-6 six six instead. I saw a Lightning Axe, so... I don't know. A tap land. They shock themselves? <laughs> okay. Oh my god. I cannot believe this. 34 cars, 40 cars, zero Phoenix in the yard. Both both players. I am gonna keep this hand. One lander, but we got Dragon Raid Chandler and then we got Faithless Hooting. Planes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hmm. I don't know which one's better. I mean, I needed that land, but. The fact that I can't kill this this turn is kind of a yikes. Yeah. That's definitely not good. Unholy Heat is good. Put this into my hand. Bottom. So we got Sorcery and an Instant Speed. So if we can bottom a creature... ...and land... ...we could potentially kill Voice of the Blessed, but... Ah, that's so risky, right? That's so risky. Expressive iteration? Pillars of flame. Oh, we need- I think we just need phoenixes. Or- or land. We need another land. Or another unholy heat. Because I don't know how we're gonna kill that. Oh dear god. Oh, that's pretty good. That's that's a good card. Um, we do need to leave up a blue creature. So we do need a land, but the RC is gonna flip. Um, unfortunately, that had to be done. I think I'm gonna bottom Crackling Drake. I just need to go fast this game. <clears throat> I'm gonna Fading Hope. That's good. That's good. I, I needed that. That's that's so good. And they already played a land, which means that they can't. Um, they kind of shot themselves in the foot. 
by playing the land that tapped. It sucks I have to do this first. Maybe I should have just played the Delver there. Another mountain. Yeah, I needed a blue source. Sprite Dragon. This is good. We should be able to win next turn. Nothing else goes wrong. Yeah, we should we should we won, right? Perfect. Six nine GG. This deck is so good against life uh life gain deck. It's so good. Obviously I got pretty lucky with unholy heats, but I mean, you're bound to draw them, right? In a deck that's full of cantrip and whatnot. One win away. Sucks that we're going second. But... Got Delver of Secrets. Look at that beautiful card. So we would like to see this flip. Oh, you hate to see it from opponent's side. Yeah, that's a lot of opt. Oh, they're playing humans. Interesting. Eh. Should I express iteration? So I'm gonna Pillars of Flame 100%. I'm actually, I'm not sure. Maybe it is right to express iteration. Put this into my hand. Put this into the yard. <clears throat> I mean, library. Fall for falls. And then kill this. This card is so disgusting. It already, it's about to do 9 damage by itself. <laughs> I would take Express Iteration. Okay. Giant killer. That is a... That is a card. Nope. Um... <clears throat> I think... Instant sorcery... Land. I need a creature in the graveyard. Oh, is it a... Is this some kind of a life gain deck? 
Okay, stop stop playing Elite Spellbinder, please. Please. Okay, I mean, we'll start with Opt. <clears throat> Sprite Dragon? Still a creature, right? I like the fact that this, this deck plays so many creatures. Oh, you know what? I should have actually bottomed this so that this flips. No. Was it? Oh, never mind. Never mind. We're, we're good. I think we keep that. I think I keep that land for Faith of Zooting Discard. It is a... Oh my god, I was about to say if they had a squirrel there, a uh, scurry oak, we, we, we would have lost. Right? No, they would gain infinite life. Okay, we're, uh, play the Sprite Dragon first. I think we might kill them. I'm not 100%. Oh. Oh. This one. That one. Okay, we, if we get a one, one mana card. We're looking at two cards here. No, three cards. If we get one mana spell, we win. That's not the one. Oh, they can tap with Giant Killer. Okay, so if I get Phoenix back... Yeah, I mean... I, I, there's actually potential of getting another Phoenix into the R here. Come on. That sucks. Please. Don't top deck Scurry Oak. Yes! Yes! Invisible Mythic. Orange Fire. <laughs>